Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me once again on this journey. I'm the card doctor, getting those vintage cards. What the heck? Feels like I can grab a lot in here. Getting those vintage cards through the mail. And we got some note cards. What else is going on? Oh, this is the a custom card I sent. But let's go ahead and keep... Oh, oh uh-oh. A couple custom cards. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, the first one... Uh, okay, I'm kind of nervous here. This is a custom card that I made. I uh, sent to Orlando Cepeda. I gave him one extra to keep. And I wonder if he kept the one that also has Brooks Robinson's. Oh, nope, we're looking good. Phew. All right, disaster averted. <laughs> Here's the card with uh, Brooks Robinson. Looks like he went ahead and put this card, uh, mine, in a plastic sleeve, and he signed both of these and sent it back. That's pretty amazing. Let's see, sent a couple notes here also, it looked like. Uh, see if I could dig them back up. Uh, looks like one is just his price sheet. And another one, okay. It looks like it's a letter to fans about postage, about how long stuff will take. If you want, you guys could go ahead and pause it and go ahead and take a look at this. But guys, this is an absolute amazing return. We're halfway done with this custom card. I think next I'll go ahead and send to Whitey Herzog. But first, Cepeda played for the Giants. He's the first baseman and he played from 59 to 74. And he was born in Puerto Rico and his family was poor and lived in a wood house without a telephone or refrigerator. His father was a pro baseball player in Puerto Rico, where he was known as Perucho and the Bull, and was widely considered one of the best players of his generation. Cepeda saw his father play for the first time in 1946 and was instantly interested in the game. Guys, if you haven't yet, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, get those notifications. I'll see you next time.